Good morning, good day, good evening. Welcome to H Chapter Live. Uh, I'm your host, Harold Bridgeforth, and I have a very special guest today with me, a good friend of mine, Jake Fogg. Jake, how you doing, bro? I'm doing good, man. Good to be on. How about how are yourself? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, so a little bit about uh, Jake. Um, he's a uh, actor and uh, well-known uh, cosplayer. Uh, one of the things that I found with Jake was that I, when I saw his pictures, I would see him like on other people's pages. So I was like, well, who is this guy? Like, why he's got the Batman thing. And I, you know, I first saw him with Batman. So I, I got to rep Batman tonight. Um, but uh, we're going to go a little bit about into uh, Jake's past. Um, a little bit about his career as a cosplayer and actor. And then um, we're going to end the show more with the sportsman's only sportsman's only uh, questions for the sports. And then we'll do a, a closure. Okay. Um, so uh, first question, uh, how'd you get into cosplay? Um, it was a combination of a couple of things. Um, I did theater uh, throughout school. Uh, yeah, I was kind of this weird blend of like, I played football, basketball, was on all the sport teams, but I was also yeah. in like drama class and theater class. And like, mm -hmm. I've always been uh, a, a huge movie fan since I was a little kid. Um, and, it, and it was always fun to me to to play different characters and, mm -hmm. and getting the best with different genres and time periods and just kind of, uh, you know, put your put yourself in other people's shoes and pretend yeah. for a little while. I just yeah. I, it made my imagination go wild. So I always had a fascination with that. Um, yeah. And, you know, getting into acting, obviously, you know, doing a bit of that. But, you know, the the nerd in me is always like, you know, like anybody else, I would <laughs> dream of playing batman yeah, or, yeah. or what you know whatever it might be mm -hmm. uh and i honestly didn't really have a full like i knew there were comic cons like san diego comic con where people yeah. dressed up but i didn't know that there were like you know like movie level suits and armors mm -hmm. for people that are uh that are out there um yeah. and it's like a, a big thing and then yeah. i was during the pandemic I was trying to find, uh, you know, something to pass the time, a new hobby mm -hmm. to get into like anybody else and uh, stumbled upon uh, some cosplay pages on Instagram and was like, what it like, who are these people? Like, <laughs> who are these it? people? What? Who they are got these, these outfits people? and costumes? Uh, yeah, and... Like, where, 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 the, where are these people? Um, mm -hmm. And was just like very curious and, and uh, asking questions about, yo, like, where'd you get this? You know, some of them made stuff yeah. which was like mind-boggling to me mm -hmm. uh and just kind of was like well i would love to get into this and and as i started doing my homework you know also seeing that not only do people do this for just like conventions but they also mm -hmm. can brand themselves with it you know they do uh charity stuff with it which really you know I, something that really caught my attention is and kind of going back to my sport days, you know, I'm sure, you know, if you played sports, yeah, you know, at a school or anything, you know, you do a lot of charity work or volunteer work. And like, I remember when I was a kid, like, yeah, it's cool if you have like an athlete come through, but I'm like, yo, if like Batman rolled through there, like, mm -hmm. I would it would change mind. the whole thing. Yep, change exactly. The whole thing. <laughs> so it, I was like, this could be a really cool way to help people and, and do some cool charity events as well, because I can do so much more as a character than is me, you know? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so that really started my journey into it uh, again, like in 2020. And mm -hmm. I did a shoot with Ryan Sims photography in Nashville and that was it, it just took off and was, it's been a crazy ride since, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's a blast. And it's a, it's a really cool community of, you know, to meet mm -hmm. people too. It's a great networking tool with, immediately you have something in common because you have a passion about a character or a genre yeah. or whatever it might be so yeah it, yep that's how i got rolling you think about like uh as an actor right it's not about like who you know and then it kind of mm -hmm. you know transpires from there you'll get a role and then they'll say oh well, i know jake and he plays this pretty well oh why don't we hire him for this you know why don't we hire for yeah. that and it's like okay like what do you what do you feel is your um is your favorite uh, what is you? What do you feel is your favorite character to play? Like I've seen you play Batman. I've seen you play Mando. Um, from Mandalorian, Superman, Shazam. Yeah. Um, like the list goes on. But like, who's your favorite? <laughs> yeah, I would say Batman. He's he's always been my favorite. He's <laughs> he's go. a mood. 
uh it's mm-hmm. a combination of some things that are like kind of funny in the sense of like you really don't have to do much you just stand there and yeah yeah, yeah. it's like, like it's already see, it's, just, everyone's just like they know batman <laughs> yeah you, they know and it's uh, the craziest thing just like unlike you know i've done a lot of characters to your to your point and you know, mm-hmm. some of them get some reactions, especially, you know, if someone like, oh, like, this is my favorite character. So, like, they're excited. But, like, Batman is just, like, a whole different thing I can't really explain. Um, mm-hmm. it, and even with my friends, like, I, uh, a couple of months ago, uh, we had, like, this big get together. And they were all, like, yo, we've never seen you, like, in person, like, wear the suit and stuff like that. Like, you just, I was, <laughs> like, like, okay, to, like, whatever. need you to come in. <laughs> yeah, I come. So, I did. I did. So, we were uh, chilling for probably three hours and i was yeah. just like as is and everyone's fine and then i went and changed and came back and like you would swear they never met me in their <laughs> life like their whole attitude just like changes like, and what? they're people are giddy and they're like mm-hmm. they just stare and uh yeah. it's just a it's a crazy uh thing with that character and i think especially because you know at the end of the day he's a he's a normal guy so yeah, he's relatable yeah. i'm like yeah. You know, Superman, where like, yeah, a little mm-hmm. kid might be, you know, uh, think, oh, like that's Superman, but like Batman, like, good yeah, thing. Um, yeah, regular guy. And, and I think uh, that's probably why he takes off so much. You know, the most relatable characters in any genre mm-hmm. are the ones that a lot of people now, especially now in modern time, like, you know, in the last, I would say, like 20 yeah. years, 20, 30 years, a lot of people are yeah. gravitating towards more of the, not the godlike character, but more of like the, real character you know and batman's mm-hmm. been human he's yeah. he doesn't have any superpowers or everybody's no. like okay well i could i could possibly be batman yeah. you know i could be yeah. that man so it's you uh, could yeah yeah so it's you know and that, that suit's that's... just sick <laughs> the suit's just, he's got a great suit you know and it, it, have you have you seen um uh from the variations of the suits because i've seen i think i've seen you wear like three of them so far i've wore uh like um i've wore ben affleck's yeah. bvs suit yeah. uh the nightmare suit mm-hmm. i've wore a version of the Pattinson suit i'll be honest it wasn't the highest quality i just mm-hmm. received like a screen accurate Pattinson suit so i'll be debuting that soon i'm really okay. excited about that one and then okay. the other ones i've done are more of like uh ones that i helped design that were yeah. more um comics basically yeah you know, i've I seen the gray of, with the black um and then yeah. i saw you wear the the because obviously you can tell like the different texture for yeah. the Batflick one uh, or, or mm-hmm. Snyder's version. Um, <clears throat> so even going into like the idea of being a cosplayer and that relationship or that genre of people, um, yeah. is there like a hierarchy with different people that show up and everyone's like, "Oh yeah, that's such and such." Is there like a is there like a cosplayer that stands out to you, or like someone that kind of is like a, a person that you uh, in- inspire to be or um yeah there there are several um there's different layers to that so okay for me as a person that um you know i can wear the suits but like i know people who they cosplay but they also like make their own stuff like Mm -hmm. they build armor they're they build uh like stuff with leather and yeah yeah uh, you know weapons i mean like massive like intricate suits with like led lights and i'm Mm -hmm. just like (laughs) <laughs> like what in the hell um it, it's really crazy to see the talent that some people have to the point like, yeah. it's like, like how are you not like working for like a studio like it's yeah. it's insane um there's definitely multiple and then for ones obviously because they're female but like mm-hmm. i see some women makeup transformations that they can do with their yeah. face yeah yeah that's uh, the other thing right yeah because without the yeah, suit, like, there's what? like that's the other piece they, there's like prosthetics that people put on and like yeah yeah so yeah there's a there's a girl uh called uh her name's allison tabitha mm-hmm. um even if you're not really in college you you'd probably know her. she's got like i don't know over a million followers but she was she's been on like the cover of like new york times for how oh wow uh when i tell you she so just naturally if you see her i mean she's a beautiful beautiful woman but um mm-hmm. she's done like Captain Jack Sparrow, you would swear it was Johnny Depp. She's done <laughs> Obi Wan Kenobi with a beard. You would swear it was you and McGregor. Wow, he looks like you know Gal Gadot or Anne Hathaway mm-hmm. or or like in real. You'd be like, and she's just so diverse, and it's like, how is that 
like that. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's it just that's the art like that. Right? I really that's the art. That's, exactly. that's the other piece that like incorporates like being yeah. a cosplayer is not just. It's like it's like you combine the art end, the yeah. effects end, the gaming end, the nerd yeah. part, and it's like put it all together, and then that's a convention yeah. of cosplayers. That's a, a lot of people. They don't they they've seen things or like they heard of like Comic Con and San Diego Comic Con, mm. and like a lot of people now they're more on the superhero end because of Marvel and DC, like the, the yeah. movies. But like that's a whole other genre that people don't pay attention to for the most part, unless you're in that community. And in that community, right. it's like like yeah. you said, it's like people know about this person and they, they've heard about this person. This person has like been, uh, you know, on New York times or in a magazine.